Hi guys, my name is Brie and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit unorthodox. Well, kind of, not really. I'm going to be dealing with American culture today because if you're up to date on all the trending topics and everything that's going on in the world, you would know that Eminem just released a new, I won't call it a single, more like a rant, a five minute rant where he basically dragged Trump under a bus. He literally just tripped him from head to toe in disses and the whole world was shook. Like, I was shook. Like, it was just an earth-shaking moment. I am sorry for those who oppose, but even if you oppose, you have to realize the talent that this man has. Like, for him to go on this long tangent and still make it sound awesome, and you still pay attention to everything he has to say, it was just great. I loved it. And I was like, oh my god. He basically goes off on Trump talking about all the things that he has done wrong since he's taken presidency in January. And I mean, like, it's something that you have to listen to. He, he covered so many topics and he basically wanted to let the world know that Trump is a horrible leader. He starts his video as if he doesn't know what he's going to say. He's like, wait. How was I gonna start this off? When you're like, where, what is happening right now? And then he goes on and he starts on Donald Trump. Guys, he just had him KO'd by the end of that video. It was a constant jab after jab after jab. But the thing is, what he said was not incorrect. He made reference to the fact that Donald Trump is encouraging war. He also made reference to the fact that Donald Trump is currently not assisting Puerto Rico, a country that is in a lot of shambles right now. And he goes on and on pinpointing everything that this man has done wrong. And at the end of the video, he does the most appalling thing, something that I think everybody is going to remember. He gives his fans an ultimatum. He's like, choose me or choose Donald Trump because I am not sticking with any fan that votes for Donald Trump or is supporting Donald Trump. And then he gives them the finger and yo, what is happening? Like this video on a whole, for a comeback, that was something that was definitely not expected. He has been someone who has been doing music for so many years. I am not a diehard fan, but I really appreciate his talent and his skill. The fact that he can make rap out of anything, the fact that he can come up with so many things on the spot, and he has such talent, guys. And actually, after I watched that video, while still being shook, I decided to read some comments and it was really interesting to see how quickly Trump supporters were like off that bandwagon. They were like, all right, peace Eminem. I'm done with you, Trump forever, yo. And I was like, oh, wow. And then the people who were against Trump were like, Eminem for president, waves fly. It was really interesting to see how divided the world has become. And it's funny as well because a lot of people who were anti-president, former President Obama are now like, damn it, we should have given him more respect. And I'm just here watching from the sidelines like, where is my popcorn? But honestly, I really appreciate the video that Eminem did because I feel like if you have the ability to influence others, that you should use your voice. You should definitely speak up and I am happy that he put his everything on the line to let people know I am not okay with this. If you're not okay with something, I think that you should stand up and fight for what you believe in. And that's something that I try to do in my life. And sometimes I don't have the support to do it because some people are scared that if they fight or they stand up against something bigger, that they would eventually fail and fall. But that's not always the case. Sometimes it takes one person to influence a crowd. So I like the video and I applaud what he's doing 100%. I think that you guys should check out his video. Even if you do not agree with what he is saying because I mean, it is not said in the nicest way. <laughs> it's blunt. It's an entirely blunt video. 
it's completely black. It's like, yo, either you want this team or you want this team, but don't be wavering. And nothing is wrong with that. Stand with him or stand with Trump. Nothing difficult about that. Anyway, guys, I did my little rant. I had fun watching that video. I think I'm going to watch it again because I am still shook. Wondering if any celebrities are going to come out now with other videos, like songs and stuff to like join the movement because that would be pretty cool. So if you like my video, you can share, you can comment, you could subscribe. Let me know what you think below. I think I'm going to try to do more of these topics. Make it more international though because I think everybody knows what's going on in America. Sometimes people are pretty oblivious to what is going on in the rest of the world. So I'm going to see if I can make something happen. Anyway guys, it's been a pleasure. Until next time guys, remember to stay culturally active. Bye!